Good morning, Ospreys. You're watching UNF Now on UNF Media, where we bring you all the campus and Jacksonville news you need now. I'm Devin DeGans. And I'm Hannah Stopchuk. Did you hear about that movie, Zat, that's playing tomorrow? I've heard about it, but I don't really know what it's about. I know it's playing at the Five Point Theater tomorrow. Yeah, it was this movie made in the 1970s, and it was rated as like the top 100 worst films ever made. And oh, gosh. It was filmed in Jacksonville, so that'll be a cool event to go to. Ospreys. If you're looking to help save lives, the Bloodmobile Drive will be from 10 to 5 p.m. today in the Student Union until this Friday. Come give blood and save lives. Today and Wednesday, student government will be holding elections in the student union, library, and the Osprey Cafe. You can vote on 26 individuals to represent the student senate. It will be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., and if you vote, you get free food. Jacksonville Jaguar ticket sales begin this Thursday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the student union plaza. Students, faculty, and staff with a valid Osprey One card and either cash or card will have the opportunity to purchase a maximum of two tickets per game at $20 each, $40 total for home games this year. There will be a maximum of 200 packages sold, so make sure to arrive early and claim your tickets. For more information, contact 904-620-1586. Again, that's 904-620-1586. Did you miss the Rocky Horror Picture Show last Friday? Well, this Friday is your chance to see what you missed, or to even see it again. This Friday, the Rocky Horror Show, a wild rock and roll party, will be in Jacksonville live. This talented crew is performing at 8 p.m. at the Edge at Brewster's Megaplex. Come out for a fun and entertaining way to celebrate Halloween. But if you aren't a huge fan of Halloween, the Zach Brown Band will be performing this Friday at the Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena at 7 p.m. You can enjoy some great music and fun. Now it's time. Now it's time to get right into sports. Here's Hannah Ostopchuk with your UNF Now Sports Report. With your UNF Now Sports Report, I'm Hannah Stopchuk. Buckle up, hockey fans, because this week is one that determines everything. The October 25th bargaining deadline hits this Thursday, so the question is, will the season be saved? If the NHL doesn't make some critical negotiations by Thursday, the 82-game season may go significantly downhill. According to the league, all three proposals were rejected due to the lack of guarantee of a true 50-50 split in revenue. Although there hasn't been any official bargaining since last Thursday, we're hoping this week will cause a reconsideration of last week's proposal. If the league continues to miss games through November 2nd, over $330 million will be lost. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this NHL season can make a turnaround. As for the NFL, it was a sad day for Carolina fans as Matt Herney's 10-year run as the Panthers general manager came to an end Monday morning. As of their loss against the Cowboys on Sunday, the team's record is 1-5 and, and is now considered the worst team in the NFC. Herney had a good run with his Panthers back in his start in 2002, but things got a little bumpy as his career went on. The Panthers went to the Super Bowl in 2003 season and the NFC Championship game in 2005. But Carolina hasn't had a winning season since 2008 and never had any back-to-back -back winning seasons under Herney's management. Despite the difficult decision to let Herney go, he claimed responsibility for the team's failures. Hopefully the team will gain more success as they approach new management. And it was a great weekend for UNF tennis as the matches led the men's team to finals Monday morning. The excitement began on Sunday afternoon when senior Moritz Birchner and sophomore Norbert Nemchuk advanced the 2012 USTA slash ITA Southeast Regionals Championship. The duo took the runner-up position against Georgia Tech Monday morning. As for women's tennis, seniors Melanie Aguirre and Lorena Aviles were, were defeated in the second round doubles matchup of the South, Southeast Regionals Championship on Saturday. Head coach Audra Cohen was extremely impressed with their level of maturity in the game, and they look, the team looks forward to their next match against USF starting November 2nd. So I heard you mention the Zach Brown Band. Yeah, they're coming this they're Friday. Coming this, I can't believe they're coming so soon. I had a dead set plan to go to this concert, but I can't get anyone to go with me. Honestly, I'm not a big country fan. Nobody is a big country fan. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check out our website at unfmedia.com. And also make sure to like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash unfmedia. Thank you for tuning in and checking with us anytime you need your news now. Have a great day, UNF.